Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of XCOM Enemy Within A Long War. So, last time we were here, we took down an alien abduction mission on the dam again, and we're able to capture, surprise, surprise, uh, this fine fellow, a sectoid commander, which I believe is the very first one we've actually seen in this campaign, which is pretty cool. We can't do anything with him yet, of course, because you need to have corpses and complete the autopsies now before you can do the interrogations, but we have him on hand at the ready now, which is super cool. Germany is freaking out and is probably going to wind up actually leaving this month. Somehow, I suspect that uh, we're not going to be able to save them this time. We've kept them in the uh, XCOM project for a long time, though, so I can't really complain. Now, we are going to do something quickly here. We're going to come into the Facilities menu, and we're going to build one. Specifically, we're going to build one of these babies. A Cybernetics Lab. I have been wanting mechs for so long, and I've been putting it off, and putting it off, and putting it off. But now, we can build some mechs. The Psionics Lab would also be cool, because I hear the Psy system has been changed pretty extensively in this game as well. So I'm looking forward to trying that out. But for now, we're going to go for a Cybernetics Lab. We're going to obviously need to build some mechs and also need to turn people into mechs and decide who we want to turn into mechs. But this is one step along the path to having giant robots to help us fight, which is super cool. So let's begin construction of the cybernetics lab so that one day soon we'll be able to actually have some mechs. If you want to build the actual mech bodies, that's another 151 credits each. So that's kind of expensive. Plus it's going to cost more to upgrade them and such too, but you know what? One step at a time. One step at a time. Let's scan for activity and get that mechtoid autopsy out the way. There it is. Let's assign ourselves some research. What are we going to get here? As it appears that the sectoid creature, blah, 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 this all seems like normal stuff. We have the counterfire pod, advanced servo motors. Very nice. Counterfire pod is... Ah, this is the uh, point defense system or whatever. Advanced combat reflexes? <laughs> I don't remember what it's called. The mech ability lets you instantly shoot back somebody who shoots you. That's awesome. And advanced servo motors let us... Ooh. Increase our mech and shiv speed. Interesting. It doesn't, it doesn't seem to be a flat upgrade anymore. It seems to be an, an, an inventory item you have to make. So we can do a heavy floater autopsy. We can start working on advanced propulsion, advanced power armor, or gauss weapons. Let's do this heavy floater autopsy quickly because I'd like to know more about our enemies. The more information we have on the battlefield, the better, the less likely we are to walk into situations that could otherwise be easily avoided. Let's spin the map and see if we get our laser cannons. The U.S. wants 20 Thin Man corpses for two scientists. Scientists. That's a lot of Thin Man corpses, but you know what? You can have them. We haven't given any in a while, so you can do that. I hope you enjoy them. Alright, laser cannons are ready. We got four alloys back as well as a result of our workshops. We're going to hop into the hangar now and quickly re-equip Freebird and Firefly with them. Because our laser cannons are awesome right now. It's going to take seven days to arm them, but that's just how it goes. Thankfully, we have two more planes in each location to give them some support. Alright. Let's keep spinning the globe and see what else happens. We'll get our heavy floater autopsy right away as well. There we did. Okay, what do we get from this? Advanced repair project. Okay. More importantly, though, we get the in-battle combat data on them, which is always important. So what do we take now? I think we're going to quickly do these Gauss weapons, because I don't know what else might be involved in them. Skipping them entirely might involve us missing some other important I benefits. So we're going to do this, and we'll see what that gets us. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Might be a waste of our time, but we'll find out. Also, we've got some gray market requests that are timing out. Let's see what this is. Meld, I'm not giving you any meld. UFO power sources, I'm not giving you those. Sectoid corpses, I could do, but you want, like, oh, that's only half of them. I might do this. You know what, Japan, you can have the sectoid corpses. We'll take the scientist. Thank you. Chrysalid carcasses, I don't really want to give away, though. Not right now. So, let's spin the globe and see what else happens. UK wants three Cyberdisc wrecks. I don't know if I can give you those. We're probably going to need them for things. I have a feeling that Cyberdisc wrecks are still pretty valuable. In the original game, they were 
if you wanted to make, uh, I think it was AIM modules, you needed Cyberdisk recs, and they were super expensive. Or rather, they were, so they were super valuable. They're only giving us 45 credits along with the two engineers as well, so it's not a huge bonus. I'm not super keen on that offer. I am expecting us to get hit soon. Another, ooh, ooh, 315 credits for 21 Illyrium. We've gotten so much Illyrium lately, I'm tempted to take that offer. I'm tempted to take that offer for the 315 credits. What would, we, what would we immediately start working on with 315 credits? Probably some guns or some mech bodies. I would want to build ourselves... Because we have an auto blaster? No, we don't. We need an auto blaster, we need a sniper rifle, and we need a scatter blaster still. So we want to make those soon. That would be almost all of the cash we'd need to start those for very little on, on our end. I'm, I'm actually going to do that. Illyrium is valuable and un uncommon for us to acquire, but we've picked up a good supply of it, so I'm going to be playing it risky here and dispatching some of it for the hefty amount of cash they've offered us. Alright, into engineering. We're going to build and buy some things. Let's scoot down to the valuables section. We're going to buy a Pulse Auto Blaster and a Pulse Sniper Rifle, I think. We have to sell a little bit more to make those things, but... Our, our uh, heavies do good work, and our snipers do good work, so I want to try and make sure they have the best stuff we can give them. Submit the order here for this. 20 Illyrium, 20 more alloys. Do it. If we head over to the Situation Room, we're like, how much money are we missing? We're missing very little to be able to actually build this other one. The Sniper Rifle, we need six credits. Okay. Visit the Grey Market, sell a single pair of Flutter Corpses. <laughs> There you go, there's the six credits we needed. Back to the build menu, and we'll grab ourselves a Pulse Sniper Rifle. Excellent. So that took all of our cash, but we now have two more super weapons on the go, which is going to be good. That's going to make us a lot more dangerous in combat. And... What else do we want to buy soon? Let's just take a look quickly in here and do a little bit of shopping before we do anything else. Is there anything else in here we want soon? We still want a pulse shotgun. I might start want to buy might want to start buying some of these fancy uh, upgrade items. But I don't know. None of them seem particularly exceptional. We're gonna want to start building some mechs. We need some more armor later. We might want to start building some of these uh, mech upgrades because they can make our mechs more powerful. Surprise, surprise. These all say just shiv, though, so I don't know about that. This one just says mechanized unit, so that might be good. This is also just mechanized unit, so that might be good. We'll deal with those, though, when we actually get some mechs built, which is not going to be for a while. So, let's keep spinning the globe and see what else this game has in store. Can we get the Gauss weapons already finished? Hello, little scout! Scramble the interceptors. Alright, time zone. Get out there and shoot them down, please. Show them what our laser cannons can do. Also, try not to get damaged. Get back here, Thanks. UFO. Try not to get damaged, because we don't have a whole lot of backup for you right now. Nearing strike range. Thank you. No damage. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, so I guess we're going to a crash site here. Crashed in the ocean, but I'm sure it's going to be a forest when we arrive. Let's send the Sky Ranger. Alright, let's prepare a crew here and get ready to go deal with this downed UFO. The fact that we took no damage is awesome, though. That's super good for our survival. Alright, let's put together a team. Who are we going to bring on this mission? Hopefully just sergeants and lower. We don't want to bring any of our super units anymore, if we can help it. Let's bring Dobrynina as our gunner. Let's grab... Uh, who else do we want to bring on this mission? Let's bring Berg on this mission as our assault. Actually, how is Berg's movement? He's got 15, that's what we want. Good. We'll bring Zimanska as our scout. She's only a corporal, but she's got super good movement. We'll bring Fisher as our sniper, bring some low rankers on this mission. Might be a dangerous move, but it should be good for us. Let's bring Fast Lane Koenig as well. Leon Zhu might even bring you. Don't know if I really want to bring an infantry on this mission, but we might. 
All right, let's bring some of these soldiers as well. We'll bring Vanya Morozov. We'll bring one more rookie, and then we'll go from there. Dominic Zimanski. Koenig, I'm changing your armor color. Let's quickly double check what color uh, engineers actually have normally. Do we have any non-fatigued engineers we can test on? Nope. So let's just put a fatigued engineer in here and check on them. Baulos, your armor color is... 22. All right. Koenig, it's about time you wore the right armor. Armor tint, 22. There you go. Congratulations, sir. You are now appropriately attired for our missions. All right, we want to bring one more person. Let's bring our infantry after all. He's not the best infantry, but you know what he'll do. So, Morozov, you're going to grab yourself. Oh, yeah, we've got to make items available first. There we go. Let's re-equip these guys. Dobrinina, quickly, you're going to grab yourself. If you can click on your name, there we go. Quickly grab you the auto laser and scope combo. You have shredder ammo, not heat ammo, so we'll have to keep that in mind for the future. Berg, you obviously need your scatter laser, your arc thrower, because we're going to try and capture whatever we can here. Hopefully something with a big weapon. And you're going to take a chem grenade. But yeah, we our, our ability to capture enemies with big weapons has been pretty low so far. So hopefully we can turn that around in this battle and actually capture a couple more real weapons. We have a whole bunch, a whole bunch of alien carbines, a whole bunch of alien pistols, and like one alien larger weapon. Fisher's equipped already. Koenig looks equipped already. Yep, he's got the Sten gun and his uh, pair of alien grenades. Morozov. You have decent aim. I'm just going to give you a regular pulse rifle and a scope and a flashbang. There you go. And you've been on a mission before, haven't you? Yes, you have. you got 100 experience. You're a little bit short still, but I think you'll be fine after this mission. Zimanski, you are going to grab yourself as well a pulse rifle and a scope and a chem grenade. And you're going to switch your tactical vest for some actual tactical armor, so you're less likely to immediately die with your pitiful three health. Leon Zhu, you need a real weapon, but you know what? I'm going to give you a pulse carbine. You're an infantry, though. I can't really justify that. Come to think of it. All right, so we're going to weaken somebody else. We're going to take the scope off of Dobranina. Because she doesn't need to have perfect aim. Her aim is decent enough already. Laser sight it is. We're going to take the Pulse Rifle off of one of these two. Zimanski, you're going to switch your Pulse Rifle for a Pulse Carbine. And Zoo... Oh, no, come back here, Zoo. It's so easy to hit the wrong buttons in this game. There you are. We are going to equip you now with a Pulse Carbine. Pulse Rifle, rather. A scope instead of a laser sight and high capacity magazine so you can actually have a little bit more ammo. It's not such a big deal now that we have the ammo conservation job, but this is still better for us. So, let's launch this mission and get down there. Looks like we're actually in buildings, which is weird given that we landed this uh, UFO in the ocean, but I guess we'll go find out what's what. Let's get down there. Touching down. Time zone's back in service, Oh yeah. Oh wow, we crashed in the whole city here. Operation Bloody Fist is taking place in Atlantis. I'm just going to assume this was a tiny island. A tiny island and this UFO crashed into the only city on it. Of course it's got, you know, skyscrapers and stuff in the background still, but whatever. We'll just assume that's what it was and not question it. Okay. There is meld on this map. That's good to see. We'll monitor those readings from here. Strike one is authorized to assault the alien craft. Of course, Simonska, our scout, is at the very back. But let's push up with her and see what we see here. Nothing right off the bat, so that's a good start. Dobrenina, you're going to run up as well. Do you see anything from here? That's what we're looking for. You see the meld, but you didn't encounter any enemies, which is good for us. Fisher, you're going to move up. There we go. 
Koenig, you're going to run up to here. Looking good so far, still haven't encountered any enemies. The Anzu, you're going to move up to All here. Stand on the end of that wall, there we go. Morozov, where am I going to send you? I'll send you around to here, Vanya. Excellent. Hardcore, you are going to run right around this car. There we go. And Dominik Zimanski. You can come stand beside this pillar. So everybody's moved, nothing bad has happened yet. That was a good fast move as well. Let's take a quick peek through this part of the map. There's the UFO, of course. There's the meld. Is there more meld running around on here? Not that I see. There are very well maybe, though. Alright, we're gonna keep moving up. So, we're gonna move up next with Berg, who can get all the way over to here. Do you see any enemies? Still no. Worrying. Alright. Koenig, you're going to run all the way over to here, I think. Understood. Moving out. We're taking some risky moves here to see if we can find some enemies, but it looks like they don't want to come out and play. Zimanska and Zimanski, you guys are going to be a little bit confusing to me, I'm sure. Zimanska, move up to there. Zoo, you're going to run all the way over to here. We're going to push up real hard at the beginning of this battle. It looks like we're getting away with it too, which is nice. Fisher, you're going to run all the way over to here. Put your sniper to as good use as possible. Morozov, you're also going to run up to the front lines. Get into some kind of position, there you go. Berg, you're going to move up against the wall here. Get as far forward as you can, because we're going to want to be able to shoot people with you. Dobrinina, you're going to come back over to this wall over here. Not a great spot for you, but we'll deal with it as we go. And Zimanski, you are going to stop here, I guess. Your movement isn't great compared to some of our others, but we'll deal with it. Still no alien activity. This is worrying. The more aliens we find actually inside the UFO, the worse it's going to be for us, I'm sure. There's a lot of meld on this map, though, apparently. Do we see this one? Yeah, we see that one. Is there another one over here that we see now? No, I have no idea where it might be, though, because there's a lot of map over there. Alright, well, let's grab this one, get what little meld we can, because if we're going to start building uh, mechs soon, we're going to need a whole bunch of this stuff. Alright, Berg, you're going to run over here and grab the meld for us? Only three meld, but I guess we'll take it. There's still no enemies anywhere in sight on this map, which is worrying. I'm tempted to go around this way and come in from behind, so we can get this meld and explore a little bit more of the map without going straight to the enemy strongholds. You can see it, and there's still no enemies in sight there, which is pretty worrying. I don't like how there's just nothing here, as far as I can tell. Koenig, you're gonna run over to this corner. We're gonna run some more people over to assist you. Zimanska, you're gonna get right over there. Roger that. Alright, who else can make it far enough to be useful? Let's send Roger Fisher that. over to here. Chill out by the low wall there. Leon Zhu, you're going to come over to this high wall here. We can see into the UFO now, which is a little bit worrying. There may really just be nothing here, though. That may be the thing. Since these guys are getting so starved for resources, these ships may have very few enemies on board. But that seems kind of unlikely still. That there'd be so little here that they have nothing other than in the UFO proper. Dobrenina, you're going to move around over this way as well and take a peek. A whole lot of dashes right here. Whole lot of dashes. Alright, well, we're gonna move you over a little bit, Berg. And that's the end of our turn. There they are! Hello, pack of floaters. Alright, so there's a lot of overwatches happening there. We can deal with that. We should be able to deal with this in a variety of ways. If I send you around to here, Koenig, you shouldn't be overwatch shot. No, you're good. And you should be able to blow up all of this cover making them sitting ducks for destruction. 
How much of that wall is this going to blow up? Just that part. Okay. So, lob a grenade right over here. I don't see why not. Can I get one a little bit better placed, though? That looks a little bit better. Might kill some of the guys. We don't really want to blow them up, but we're going to throw the grenade in here anyway and try and blow up as much of this Throwing wall as grenade. we can. There's a lot of rubble there. It might not all blow up. As far as I can tell, it all blew up. That was awesome. Look at that. Alright, that is like six exposed floaters. Time to start taking pot shots. Except you can't see them. Morozov, you only see one of them. 75% chance to finish him off. Do it! Thank you, Morozov. Well done. Enjoy your promotion. Fisher has a shot. He's got three shots, in fact. Zoo has three shots. Zoo, you should have three kills here. 79% chance to hit that guy. 80% chance to crit him. And he's dead. Well done. Infantry are good soldiers. I kind of want to level you up a little bit still, so you'll take a shot at this guy too. There's your double kill. Very nice. Alright, we kind of want to level up with these rookies as well, but I don't want to move anybody because there's a lot of overwatches going on over there. And while we could use our uh, our scout to waste them, it's better if we can just remove these guys with people because all these guys need experience anyway, basically. There's a great shot for Fisher. Now we can afford to move wherever we'd like, more or less anyway. Unfortunately, there's still no good places for Zimonski to move. A lot of this cover is not great. Can I move him around into this wall? I can move him around to here, which is in cover. Zimonski, move around to here. Can you see him from there? No, you can't. Okay, I tried. I didn't think you'd be able to see him from there. That wall is still kind of in the way, but I figured I'd give it a shot. Now, Zimonska, you're going to move around to here, and you're going to take him out if we need to. You have a shot at him. Is anybody else likely to get a shot at him? At this point, not really. So I'm just going to take the shot with you. You have hollow targeting, so if we do need to make a shot with somebody else, you'll make it easier. You only have a 43%, really? That's not good. Okay, so there's one floater left here who's going to give us a hard time. I can run and gun pretty close, but I'm hesitant to do so because we might uncover some nasties in there we haven't seen yet. I think we're going to have to, though. We're going to run and gun into the middle, but we're not going to run over into the UFO. We're going to run over to here. Hopefully, this doesn't trigger any outsiders. There we go. It still gives us a decent shot. 57% is not bad. Not great either, but not bad. And it worked for us this time, so I can't complain. Alright, let's run Dobrynina over to here, and then we're going to end this turn with a single overwatch. Actually, Zimanska... Zimanski, rather. No, you can't get into cover over here. You're gonna overwatch. Alright, well, that pack of floaters went down nice. I love how you can just blow up half the map sometimes with these grenades. Because that was really handy. Alright, there's another meld canister of three meld. We can climb up on the roof here, even though there's nothing else around. That's pretty funny. Alright, I'll send you back this way, Koenig. Zimanska, you're going to move over to here. The last thing we want to do is trigger the Outsiders this turn. Especially now that you're exposed and out of cover there, Zimanska. That's not a good thing for us to have just done. Hardcore, you're going to have to run up and acid grenade this guy because he needs to not be able to hit us this turn. Otherwise, we're in trouble. Let's move you up a little bit. Throw the chem grenade. Is that really not going to affect him at all? Okay, well, this is a problem. Our sniper can't see him because of this rubble here. I can move you up to here, though, where you should be able to see him. And you have snapshots. So you can still shoot at him. Only a 42% chance to hit him, though, because of the fact that you're using Snapshot here. I can move you over okay. to here, Dobrynina. Can you see him? Yes, you can. You can suppress him. You might do that, just to keep him down a little bit more. Flashbang is not going to reach. Zoo, you need to move up as well. Can you see him from here? You can. Alright, I might take a shot with you, even though it's terrible odds. Should have more chances to get in this guy's face. Morozov, if you come over to here, you should be able to see him. Vanya, your aim is only 20% as well. Not very good. 
Now, can I get up on this high ground and still shoot him? Can Zimanski, Zimanski shoot him from up here? Doesn't look like it, but can I chem grenade down onto him from up here? No. Okay, this is a pickle indeed. We have a lot of low odds shots we might take. Dobrinina, you're gonna suppress him, because we need to take as many debuffs on him as possible. Plus that hollow targets him for the rest of our team. Zoo, you don't have Executioner? You do have Executioner, so I should try and do some other damage to him first, if at all possible. Berg, you're gonna chuck your chem grenade, even though it doesn't seem to affect him on the off chance that it gets him... Come on. Gets him through the wall anyway. It should, he's in the cloud. He might be protected by that wall, but we'll see. Let's throw the chem grenade and see what happens. Does it affect him? Nope, it looks like he's perfectly safe right where he's standing, unfortunately. Alright, well, let's overwatch with Zimanski then. Zoo, you might take a shot in a second, but first we're going to take a shot with Fisher. He's got a 52% chance to hit with Fisher, that's not bad. First we're going to take a shot with Morozov. How's your odds? Hey, 30% chance to hit, that's a hit, I'll take it. Fisher, you now have a 52% chance to hit, with a 50% chance to crit, and <laughs> you kill him! What? Okay, that was luck. Everything by the that was luck. That was an easy mission. Six aliens, they really are getting starved for resources. See, that could have been real bad if we hadn't been able to hit those shots. But it looks like our soldiers are pretty darn good when the luck comes down to it. <laughs> We had a situation there where we probably could have survived, no matter what. But, we may have lost a soldier there if we didn't get lucky and got that shot to hit. Oh. Impressive work, Look at those Ender. promotions, too. Wow. Have to be feeling good after a mission like that. Very nice. Alright, Zimanski is now a uh, tactical soldier. Morozov is now a support. Awesome. Zimanska is now a sergeant, which is awesome. Let's level them up. Congratulations, Scout. You now have Sprinter, which is a glorious ability. Fisher, you have amazing movement now, Zimanska. Holy cow. I'm sure you just have insane movement speeds. Fisher, you are a sniper. I don't know what to give you. I'm going to give you Executioner, probably, because I like Executioner. That plus 10 aim and plus 10 critical chance is real nice. Sharpshooter is not bad. We do shoot a lot of people in high cover with the uh, snipers. But we get that same bonus against everybody who's weakened with Executioner, which is also good. Damn good ground is again a 10 aim, 10 aim, and 10 defense bonus at high elevation, but we never seem to get to high elevation, so I'm just going to take Executioner. It seems the most reliable of those three skills. Vanya Morozov, I'm going to leave you for now. Same with Zimanski, because I'm not sure what we're going to do with you yet. You are now Bonsai. Leon Bonsai Zoo. Excellent. You could have Opportunist. That's a nice one. Ranger or Gunslinger. I'm going to give you Ranger. We never really use uh, Overwatch as much with our infantry, so I'm going to try giving you Ranger. We'll see how that goes. So, that was a nice bunch of level ups there. That's awesome. We have five floater corpses, 13 Illyrium, 16 alien alloys, six weapon fragments, 10 meld, and some damaged computers and power sources. All right, well, we can come to the gray market and sell those. It gets us a bit more money, instead of the no money we've had up until now. Very nice. So, overall, that was a pretty nice mission. Could have been much worse. Probably didn't need to send eight soldiers on that one, but uh, I'm glad we did, because otherwise we might not have had everything we needed to take down that outsider at the last second. And if we had failed that, then things could have gone real sour. So I'm glad we brought everyone we did. So, we have a little bit of time left, but I think you know what? What we're going to do here is we're just going to end this episode here. So, thank you for watching, everyone. This has been Vanguard of Valor playing some XCOM Enemy, <laughs> XCOM Enemy Within, a long war here. If you enjoyed today's episode, let me know what you thought about in the comments. It was a little bit more of a research and development episode and a little bit less of a crazy combat episode, but those sometimes happen. Either way, I look forward to seeing you guys next time, and until then, bye bye